Hi, in tonight's Unity tutorial, I'm going to go over using the um, creating bones for a sprite. And the first thing you need to do is create a 2D project. And here I have a 2D project and a new scene. And then the second thing I need to make sure I have is the 2D animation package installed. And for that, I could go to Window, Package Manager, and if it's not already there in the packages, I could click to show all the preview packages and just click the install button to install it. For example, I don't have 2D IK, I could click to install it. That's what I would do with 2D animation. So after you install it, then you should be able to see the 2D animation package down here. Now with the 2D animation package, I can go ahead and let me go to my bag of tricks over here and get a sprite that I made that I'm going to use and put some bones on them. Which one is the folder? I think it's this one. Oh, I guess. No, 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 no. It's um, this one. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to use this folder here. And uh, let me just take this doll character and put it in. All right, so this is a sprite. Now, before I drag it into the scene, I'm going to edit the sprite. So I select the sprite and the assets window here, and then I click the sprite editor button. It brings up this. So this is what's new in 2018.3. The um, sprite editor, now it says skinning editor instead of like before when it used to say um, create the bone editor and the geometry and weights editor. Now it just has sprite editor and skinning editor. And you have these panels here. So this is new, and it's basically going to work the same way. The clicking and editing is is a little bit different. So first I'm going to create a bone, and I could create a bone over here for the body. So I could double click to start with a little dot. Then I'll click and click again, and then automatically it's already ready to make the next bone for me. And I, I could keep on adding bones like that with the clicks. And then when I don't want to add another bone, I'll just right click. Now, if I want to add the um, detached bones to do like the arms and the legs here, first I'm going to select the bone I want to do it from. And it's very faint, but there's a little blue line there connecting to my dot to make a detached bone. And then I could do one for this leg. And I still have that blue dot. And I'm going to make one for for this leg over here, coming off of that. And now say I want to make the, the next um, detached bones from this joint over here. So I'll select this joint. And now I have another detached bone joint thing. So I click. And the other thing is um, it automatically goes into the create attached bone mode. So I do one click to put the attach bone and then from there if I click it's ready to do an attach bone so that's a little different now I could go to automatically create the geometry these are the settings for the you know the um, clarity of the geometry so I'll say generate and there you go I have that and it looks like it automatically created the weights too you see the shading colors and if I went to here and I said generate so it, it it's a little bit faster for boning up your character now in Unity 2018.3. So now with that set for my sprite, I could make sure to press apply. All right, and then I'll go back to my um, scene view and I'll drag and drop the sprite into my scene. And I just have to add the sprite skin script. So to search for the sprite skin script, which is, it's in this packages thing somewhere in the folders there. But I just type in um, add component and then I look for, I type the word skin and I can find sprite skin easier this way. Then I click on that and the sprite skin script, you just have to press create bones. And now you can see the bones in the character right there. And now these bones, they're editable. You know, I could bend the sprite and stuff like that, um, tilt the head or, uh oh, sorry the body and stuff like that so the first thing I guess I'll do is I just want to position um, these arms in place 
And that's something I forgot to do. I forgot to do the um, the depth because you see right here the connection, how it's not drawing the arm over the body the right way. And this arm I'd want it to be in back, but it's not. So this part, uh, we're going to go back to the editor, I guess, for the bone. And we want to make a depth for the bone be more negative to be in the back and more positive to be in the front. So in the old Unity, I would go back to my sprite, go back to my sprite editor, and then I would just be able to see the bones and select each bone. But now in the new editor, I'm not finding the bones anymore. And this, this is a problem that I couldn't find the answer to yet. So poor me, poor me that I couldn't find that answer yet. Um, let me see if I say clear and geometry. It's already generated. And basically, I don't know how to view the bones again so I could do the... Um, the leveling, the depth of the bones. So uh, for now, what I'm doing, can I say revert? And no, it still has that. So I just don't know how to get back to like square one over here and I couldn't find any documentation on it. So that's the one negative I have for the new editor. It's not evident to me, the bones aren't showing. So if I wanna actually fix this sprite, I'm going to have to start all over again so I could assign the bone depth unless I'm missing something and you guys could tell me, hey, silly, you missed this. So I'm just going to take the sprite and delete it. I'm going to start all over again and I'll delete it there. And then I'll go back to my bag of tricks and import it again. Oh my, what was I here in the drawing tablet? Okay. Uh, let's try it with this guy instead, the Terra. Just so it could be different. All right, so now I have this guy, and I'm going to go to Sprite Editor, and now I'm going to add bones for this guy, the Terra. Uh, let me make it so I can see a little better. Do, 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 do. Come on, baby. All right, um, so now I'll start off again with Create Bone, and I guess I'll make one bone for the um, double click, and I get the first dot, and I click. And then I click again right here. And then now I'm going to do each of the arms. So I'm going to right click, select this bone, and do one arm over here. Right click. And do one arm over here. Right click. Another over here. Right click. Another over here. So this part is definitely faster. So I don't have to keep switching between the bones and right click. So now I kind of boned them up. All right. So now before I leave this bone scene, because I know I can't get back to it, um, let's say that these bones will be behind him and these bones will be in front. This isn't a good one, but this is where I have the bone depth right here. You see, so I'd have to select the bone and make sure I set the bone depths before I leave the screen. Otherwise, I'm never going to get back to them. Minus one. And then I'll make these even further back. Minus two. And then these minus three. So this is what I have to remember to do. Otherwise, I don't seem to have a way to come back here and edit this. And then these, I'll bring them to the front. Like a, like a one, these bones will come up to the front, one, and this one will be um, two, 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 oh no, this one will be three, three, and three. Okay, now I'll do the auto geometry, and it looks like it did the auto weights because it got the colors in there. All right, now I'll say apply. Yeah, so before I leave the screen, before I say apply, I, I better do that because look, even right here, I don't see the bones anymore. I can say edit joints, create bones. They're not there. But anyway, I got the bones right this time. So now I go back to the scene, put this um, sprite in there, and let me just zoom out a little bit. Okay, and then I'm just going to add the script again, skin, sprite skin, create bones. All right, so now I have the uh, sprite here, 
and okay and there you go now I could do the animations and everything if I wanted to animate select the character and then create an animation just call it like idle and then press the record button pick a position in time and you know flex these joints flex these joints around just do something <clears throat> kill so then just loop it control V and yeah there you go he's moving like something like that and spread the time a little and there you go just made an animation so that's like the new um bone editing in 2018.3 there you go